What's up, y'all? This is TJ with my first impressions of Absolver. I hadn't looked too deeply into it. I just saw enough to know it looked interesting. Um, I like fighting games, and something with this kind of format was intriguing. So let's dive in. Got a pretty standard character creator. Pretty basic. Choose your class, of course. Apparently by difficulty. Kind of nervous to see uh, the difference that 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 actually makes. I know you can earn each of the different ones. I'll probably start with the easiest. Don't know if much else matters. See the opening cutscene doesn't really tell you much. It appears that we're on some kind of a trial. And uh, I know at least that we want to be an absolver. Whatever that is. Maybe we'll learn. So the tutorial looks pretty straightforward. Pretty simple. I get the impression that you're not locked into it. It seems to be that you can just run through it if you need to, uh, if you're starting a new character or whatever. I think I could just skip all of this. Which, of course, I was tempted to do the first time. Eventually, we get around to fighting some real mobs. Go pretty easy on you at first. I'll let you get a grasp on that combat. It is pretty dense, pretty uh, deep, I guess. Stances do seem to be important, and you can see it took me a while to figure out how to shuffle the combat deck, or how to build the combat deck. Seems to be a nice curve as far as learning how the different parts work together, and uh, gaining stuff that you can adjust and, and add to kind of round out your build. Imagine, especially at these lower levels, everybody's pretty much running around the same, although those connectivity issues, I uh, didn't run into anybody the first day because I wasn't online. Typical on level up, choose an attribute, pump it up, move on. Equipment seems to add a decent amount of customization. Uh, I like the art style. I'm not really into realism. And so it's kind of in between the kind of tune style and, and something a little more realistic. Some people said this is a little drab to them, the environment and the, the characters. I kind of like it. I think it's a little chill. And uh, I don't need everything to, you know, majorly pop. With this kind of having a zen aesthetic, I think it works. It really is a compulsion when you know that around the corner there's something you can punch. Um, combat feels good, feels solid. It's uh, pretty fast-paced, I'd say, without being super, super twitchy. There's some time to think, and I like that. I was starting to get the feeling that it was going to feel like uh, Arkham games or something like that, but um, it's, it's more manual than that. The character does not do all the work for you. Uh, death doesn't really seem to mean much see what happens when you get killed by a player but um, you know for a chiller game chiller seeming game like this I don't really need I don't really feel the need for a severe death penalty lack of a map is kind of interesting you've only got it at these certain points so you got to keep track of where you are and uh, sometimes I'm okay with that sometimes I wish there was a map get a little bit of story in small chunks kind of like Zelda it picks and chooses where there's voice acting you see as you go the um, combination of weapons and armor, mostly armor really, uh, does affect the stats and um, it's kind of a trade-off. The weight of your equipment does weigh you down, so you're a little faster without it, but obviously get more protection depending on what you put on. So I may have gone the wrong direction, but I eventually get to the first boss and it happens to be a double boss. Um, it was hard. I spent about an hour figuring out the patterns because I probably wasn't leveled up enough, but eventually I got him. So your skill really does pay off if you kind of understand the, the way the system flows. Bend it to your advantage, and uh, I like that. You don't have to be a high level to win, at least to some extent. So overall, I feel like you could pop in casually and you know just make pro progress as you feel. If you want to get into it with other players and really test your skills, you can. It doesn't seem that you have to. Uh, the few players I've run into so far 
not aggressive. Uh, one guy picked a fight with me, so we duked it out. Um, he won, and uh, then I was knocked down. He helped me up, and now we have uh, a status in the system. We're neutral to each other. So I guess if you continue to interact, um, you can help each other out or not. <laughs> and uh, the relationship could go either way. So that's kind of interesting, because you will see some of these people later on down the line. Um, and I guess there's a way that you can uh, hook up and travel together, I'm not really sure. The graphics decent, runs well, at least on my rig. Uh, the music fits the tone, fits the uh, setting. I didn't really have any technical issues, uh, so you know I applaud them for that. Second day, the servers seem to be working. That's typical launch day problems. I wasn't worried about it, but uh, just something to note. Uh, so I'm interested to see how the difficulty ramps up, um, how it is as other players start to get better, and uh, whether as you know a more casual type player, you can kind of hold your own, or if you end up being at the point where you really have to invest some time in to hang out with the other guys. So these were first impressions, I would say, you know, give it a shot. It's only 30 bucks. Uh, Devolver seems to be a good developer. If you want to brawl, seems like a good, good option. That's it for this one. You can check back for some uh, gameplay. Be posting some stuff here and there. And uh, we'll see you next time.